Hello, this is Wes Crow, and I thought I would start trying, I've been thinking about this for a while, is I want to start edging some of my, some of my tarot decks, at Oracle decks, actually. So I've decided, I've decided on three. Um, I have the Golden Universal Tarot, um, and I think I want to edge this one in black. There's the, the back of it, and here's the type of artwork that's on it. Um, I could obviously edge it in gold, um, but I thought black, like there's tons of gold on the back here, so I thought a black uh, ed edging would, would suit it better. Um, I feel like if there's just too much gold, it's going to start getting a little gaudy. I mean, this deck could technically be considered a little gaudy already. So I think black will kind of keep it a little bit more, a little more meaningful. The, the black will make the, the gold more meaningful, I think. I'm going to start, because I've never done this before, with these two cards. Um, to see, make sure I don't fuck it up. They're the, the, just the extra bullshit cards. So Then my Halloween Oracle, which I love. I was debating with this one. There's the back of it. Gorgeous artwork on it. Um, to edge it in black because that, I mean, that's sort of fitting but there's just so much black on the back as well but there is grey there so I'm thinking I have a deco colored wood paint marker in silver so I'm thinking it would work well for this to edge this in silver I don't have spare cards for this deck to test it out though but they are pretty thick so I, I don't know I don't have any spare ones to test it on. It's gonna be all or nothing if I do this. <laughs> and the third deck, which I've had forever, so the edges are pretty worn, is the animal, the Druid Animal Oracle deck. And I'm thinking with this one, because if you look at the back, it's kind of uh, like a navy blue or an indigo blue with kind of a silvery, gray silvery uh, border and uh, symbol on the back. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try these in silver as well. So what I'm going to use for the Golden Universal Tarot is, I've heard people, I've seen people use it. It's a Sharpie Magnum permanent marker. So I'm gonna test it out on, on these two cards and uh, see how, um, how it dries. You know how some black inks dry red? I don't particularly want that. I want it to look black. I'm gonna try that out now. The other thing I have, as I've seen a lot of people saying that a uh, damp cloth is good to have around just to clean up the edges in case you need it. So, I'm gonna try that. What I'm gonna do is just go along the edge like this. See how that goes. Seems to be pretty, pretty good. See, there's the other side where you can see the white. There's the side I just did. I think that turned out pretty decently. Let these dry overnight just to make sure that they, it is a color of black I want for this. But I think, I think that's gonna work. And I don't seem to be getting too much of a lead. I think that's gonna work out nicely. Now for this one, let's see how this works. This is the, I don't know how it's gonna work out. Uh, there's the tip of that one. It's not as big as the other one. There's a little bit of a flatness to it, but hopefully it will work. Might need to do a few passes on this to make sure. I'd rather do a few light passes and press heavily on it. But it doesn't seem to be bleeding onto the white side or the blue side, so that's good. That's the problem with the older deck is that the sides are uh, have been well well used so it sort of bleeds a little bit more under the because uh, I can't really oh well, I can wipe this one a little bit away but it actually bleeds under the paper a little bit because it's just such an old it's an old I've had this deck for 15 years oh my god so it's actually bleeding under the, the, the shiny coating. So definitely have to do lighter 
later passes on this. This is very watery ink though, because I got this meant for wood. So that's part of it. At least that means I can wipe it away easily. But yeah, these are probably going to take a few passes <laughs> with this pen. Probably an ink pad would just be better. But I can start to see a little bit of the silver there. It's be a bit of a project to line them all out and let them dry. So, I will get on it and get back to you in a day or two, a couple hours. Whenever I do get back to you, I'll get back to you and show you the end results of all of them. See, this is why older decks you probably shouldn't be doing this to. I still don't think it's ruined, I still love this. But maybe I will not be doing the edging to the older deck. It's just been too low low. So, these are the two decks uh, done. Um, I'll show you what they look like now. So, this is what the cover card looks like with it. And then spread out to the side, that's uh, what they look like. I really like the way this turned out. It doesn't have that kind of red inky thing that I thought what might happen with it. Sorry, this is probably going to look upside down. Um, it's just the way my desk is situated right now and the light. I think they just seem more complete now. They seem finished. So, um, and I'm really liking the choice of going black instead of gold. Um, I can see how the gold would work really well with this, but there's already so much gold involved here in the cards that I think having the black edges just really showcase the gold a lot more, make it pop a little bit more than if I had the gold edges. So anyways, yeah, that's my edging of, uh, of this deck. And here is my Halloween Oracle. And I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. I decided to go silver. It's not an overly metallic silver, if it's catching it or not. But I ended up going silver. I, I was thinking like it's like it's the Halloween tarot deck. I could have gone like a really deep pumpkin-y orange, maybe even a little bit deeper than the box here. And that would have looked nice too. But I was going with sort of the back of the, the cards here, and I thought the silver, like I could have gone black with this as well. But I think there's just so much black that it, it wouldn't have stood out as nice. Um, so I went with the silver, and I think the silver, especially this muted silver, I mean, it could have gone a shinier silver, but the, I don't, I don't think the super shiny silver would have complemented as well with all these cards. I mean, these are beautiful cards. Silver definitely would have looked good with that. But this more muted one, I think, really sort of sticks with the with the feel of the back of the cards and still does not conflict with these cards at all. Hopefully this is showing up and it doesn't just look like a off-white because it's actually just a very subtle metallic silver and I'm actually really liking it for this. Hopefully this one is catching that. Anyways, these are the first two decks I've ever uh, put the color on the edges like this. So I I'm really liking the way I think they feel a little bit more finished. And um, I think I want to do this to a couple other decks I have, but I I'm still figuring out the colors I want to do. Anyways, have a good day. Bye.